<laughs> Welcome to Dude RV. There's a whole lot of cars here. We gotta be quick about it. I really appreciate y'all stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. As you can see, I am at San Angelo State Park out in West Texas. And we're gonna take a ride. This is actually gonna end up being two different campground videos simply because this this park is so big i'm gonna have to do it in two different two different virtual tours this is number one get the camera mounted so y'all can participate The helmet on the helmet cam is mounted now we need to find some cool tunes for the gopro footage unfortunately i can't do cool tunes yet on the insta 360. there we go I was here six years ago on the homeward leg of a trip down to Big Bend National Park. We were quite exhausted. It was our first trip in the Class C Vesta. First trip with the uh, Triad scooter and I was having so many problems with that thing. When we arrived here, we were both just exhausted and burnt out. So, I didn't have real... Uh, my impression of this state park was less than stellar. I have fresh eyes now. now I kind of like this state park. I like it a lot, as a matter of fact. We arrived here yesterday late afternoon. We were treated to a beautiful sunset and then a beautiful sunrise this morning. Now the lake, the, the lake that this park is associated with, O.C. Fisher, is uh, at 2%. It's drought condition. It's super low. So it kind of kind of takes some of the some, some of what the, this park was built around the lake. So it, you're you're kind of left hanging without a lake. But it's it has miles of trails. There's some cool stuff here. So let's go see some cool stuff. Now there's a cattle guard at every entrance to this park because over here on the right that pasture that's where part of the state longhorn herd is kept and then there's another pasture on that other side on the east side where uh, part of the state bison herd can be found Good morning. How are you doing? Wonderful. They have firewood available. And there's not a burn ban. This park has got the most. This park has more. What am I trying to say? The paved road area in this Texas State Park, I think this is it's one of the biggest of the 72 that I've been to. This park has more paved road than any other. So 
So we're going to kick off by checking out the screen shelters, the cabins. Not screen shelters, they are cabins. And they are right over here. When we were here last, we were we, we were not flat towing the F-150. I had the scooter on a hitch haul on the back of the motor home and Yappy was driving her car. These are all air conditioned cabins. Uh, because she was driving her car, well, because the car was here, I didn't have enough battery to do the whole park on the scooter. So I used her car to cover a lot of this park. So it wasn't that great of footage. Now the restrooms for the cabins is right over there. <laughs> kind of weird. Kind of weird how this park is laid out, and it'll, it'll that'll become clear as we progress. All right, let's go see some RV campsites. Now, because we are in West Texas, just about everything out here has a sharp point on the end. Stop trying. Let's stop trying. It had a white border. That means white bicycles don't have to stop, right? They have a, a big playground here on the left. And here at the dump station, there's a really cool bird blind wildlife viewing area, courtesy of the San Angelo Lions Club. I saw three Havelina helping themselves to bird seed yesterday. All right, we are going to make a left here. You'll see that Trudy Thunder is in site number one. There are no full connection sites here. These are 50 amp. see the bison silhouette they have like five bison silhouettes out there we're not gonna go out there because the only thing there is a group pavilion these sites are all relatively level they're very flat easy to walk around in now our side is backwards, the patio faces the road, but you know, we're, we're only here for two nights because Yappy's got to do her, she's, she's off working. All right, we gotta go about a mile to the next clustering of campsites. So we'll put on some speed. Now you, all of that out there should be water. It's actually the, the lake should be going up into a channel here. A lot of area 
for this lake but as you can see there's just like hardly anything two percent and it's been at in this way for years I think two, I was reading on something it's I think the 2011 it's really hard drought and it took it down to zero percent all right we're getting into more 30 amp sites These actually may be 50 amp signs. They are. I'm sorry, I gave you bad info. These are 50 amp campsites. I think these back here are 30 amp. And most of them are from this point on are on the left until we get down to the end, very end loop. this one. I like it a lot. I guess number 23? 28. tailed deer yesterday brings us to the end of the campsites. We're going to take a long loop around and see if we can find some bison and longhorns. I'll go fast. As fast as I can with the road conditions as they are.
pasture right here is the bison enclosure. Yesterday they were down here because there was some water. I know we got a lot of a lot of glare on the camera. I'll go back. Be looking over here. Right in here somewhere that I saw him yesterday. Morning. Doesn't look like they're out today. All right. Get back up to the front. A bust because it was right in here. There were like six, seven of them. The only thing we have today is the piebald face horse. No long horns today. Right. 
guess we will head to the other side of the park.
multi-use area. Fisher is an impoundment on the Concho River. We'll go to the right side first. There's no point in looking at a boat ramp. <laughs> Cause there's no water. We'll go down here and turn around and come back. I believe these are all primitive sites. It's Thursday. No, it's Friday. The middle of September. Highs have been not getting into the low 90s. The temperature at night's down in the 70s, so it's been very pleasant. Here we are at the end of the road. I'm surprised we've not seen any wildlife. Was, had water in it, that would be such an awesome site. Campsite. It would be a great place to camp.
guess we'll go see where the other road is. Where that road goes. Once at the end of the road. kind of building on the top of the hill. We'll see what that is.
It was a, a dry boat ramp. There's still campground park stuff down there. Wow. Hold on. We gotta get a ball cap. Woo! What a ride! Man! I know I said I was gonna do it in two videos, but I guess not. We have reached the end of the San Angelo, the official San Angelo State Park virtual tour. Hey, if you're still with me at this point, thank you so much for riding along. If you found some value or entertainment, please click on that thumbs up. Hold on, my wires are, wires are dragging my cameras. As I was saying, if you found some value, please click on that thumbs up and blast me out across your social media. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. It really helps almost to 20,000. For those of you who have been following along, I cannot say thank you enough. That is why I get to come out here and do this. Thank you for that opportunity. 
and for our patrons. We are most grateful for your gratitude. Thank you. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?